When America toppled former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak, it virtually handed the country over to the Muslim Brotherhood terrorist organization. More dangerously, America removed the last remaining counterbalance to Iranian regional domination. This is not good news for America, Britain, or the tiny nation of Israel. Gerald Flurry explains why even the moderate Arab nations are frightened. Here's what I wrote also in the trumpet. There have also been five bombings of an Egyptian pipeline which delivers vitally important natural gas to Israel. All of the bombings have happened since the revolution began in Egypt. Another sharp signal that this part of the Arab Spring, quote unquote, has already produced some bitter terrorist storms. Well, and these are only the beginning of sorrows. Only the beginning. It's going to get a lot worse. Trust me, I, I'm taking that message right out of the Bible. I wrote that before he left office, Hosni Mubarak had this to say, quote, They, the dissenters, may be talking about democracy, but the result will be extremism and radical Islam. I mean, that is precisely what's happened. And, and Hosni Mubarak knew. He was, he was there for 30 years. He knew uh, what was going to happen to his country if it turned away from what he, was, he had been doing. Keeping a lid on the Muslim Brotherhood, that violent Iranian-type terrorist group. That's what he did, and he knew it would just sort of explode when he left if there wasn't somebody there to control it. And I tell you, nobody knew that and understood that better than this man. And why is it that we kick a man out who brought a peace treaty and peace to, to between Israel and Egypt for 30 years and bring somebody in there that's going to have a war with Israel in almost no time? And in a sense, it's already started. And where is it going to lead beyond that? Well, you see how Iran keeps pushing and taking over country after country, or at least gaining allies all over the Middle East, and it has the moderate Arab nations very frightened. Very frightened indeed. Well, what does it all mean? What does it all mean to you? Well, it's going to affect the economy of the U.S., you can be sure, if it keeps going the way it is, and what is there to stop it? What is there to stop it? Let me just remind you what Mr. Mubarak did while he was in, uh, in, in office and, and reigned for 30 years. He uh, fought against what, the, what he called the Iranian cancer as an ally of the U.S. He kept a lid on the violent Muslim Brotherhood who killed Anwar Sadat, M Mubarak's predecessor. He kept peace with Israel for 30 years. He fought with America in its war against terror. And one more extremely important point, Mubarak fought against Iran getting the nuclear bomb, which it could get as early as next year. No Arab country in the Middle East has been a better friend to America. While he was talking about a cancer spreading in the Middle East, the Muslim Brotherhood came to the White House and spoke to our government here, and we were talking to them, these terrorists, and they recently tried to get a leader. He was their number one choice, and they couldn't get him. But he said that he, he had prayed to Allah that, he, that Allah would kill every Jew on this earth, every last one of them. Now that ought to tell you where Egypt is going and where, what the Muslim Brotherhood is all about, and it isn't going to do any good to negotiate with them because their mind is set and their goal is set. And I can tell you where Egypt is going just by looking at these fruits and these crises that are developing. That should tell you a lot about where this is all leading.